All right, everyone. World 2, Zone 3, Tribulation Mode. Ringo here of the PTN, and we're going to jump right on to this one. Again, a rather lengthy one, but oh man, sweet victory is in store. I've actually completed this twice now, and it is significantly easier than the Ninja one. Significantly. It still has some tricky jumps. It has a pull your hair out moment. But, once you get past that spot, it's not nearly as bad. And there's some wonderful checkpoints. They're all very reasonable. <laughs> Except for a couple of them which we're going to be skipping just because they're totally useless. Whoa! Up on the trees. We're climbing. If you notice, the world's dark. This will make some of the jumps later on harder. Right now, it's not too bad. Anyway, as you can see, we're, we're taking a relatively long way to get to a clog spot up here. The reason for this is, and after I get the checkpoint, bam! <laughs> so you can't take the straight route. I'm also going to show you how to get that raccoon stump in this one, just because it's actually really easy to get to. Let's turn on our light. You can turn on your torch at any time, just so long as you don't have the balloon. Move ahead. Trippy camera. Taking the long way around again. Gotta love that. For this jump here, be sure you're jumping outside first and around. Get caught on that um, little corner quite often, falling to my death. This one looks really difficult to get. It is, but it's also really doable once you figure it out. Take there, get a running start, and go back to where you came from. This is because the ice here will slide you back into non icy spots so you're not going to fall off. The most annoying positions here, especially if you lag even a little bit, do a sidestep. I find that gives you the smallest increments of movement. Try to get as close to the edge because we're looking to have as little momentum as possible from the ice when making that jump. Around. Yes. Another save. A bunch of those jumps are tricky, but I mean, we've done way harder already, so it's nothing we can't handle. We're taking a real around the world. <laughs> um, we're going around the world for just about everything here. That arrow is a troll arrow. I followed it the first time. Made me so sad. Of course, we gotta go around some more. Up. Oh. Uh. Oh, um, I'm being dumb, aren't I? Yes, I am. <laughs> Sometimes you don't have to take the longest route. Sometimes there's just a little bit of an easier one. That one gets me just about every time. There we go. Now, be sure to be on the right outer part. There's spikes on that inside. Across here. Again, we get to take the easier route. They're being nice. There's a little bit of a higher way you could take for that jump. They didn't make you do it. And here, there's actually two ways to get through this. I'm going to show the longer way just because I'm more successful. But you can jump from here. And just like the ninja one land, let's see if I can show it, just before like this. Cool, yeah. You can hold here and for some reason you're fine. Make that jump around and you'll be fine. If you're lagging, that is definitely the harder way. Take the under route. Ugh. Be sure to jump towards that corner and slide your way down. Otherwise, you may end up back on top. Or you'll end up dead. <laughs> Whoa, ah, we're going around some more tricky jumps. Up across, you know you've made it when the candle guy starts talking to you. Candle's too weak. Candle is too weak. Burn! Good, good, good. Checkpoint! Well done, guys. We've gotten a couple checkpoints already. We got another one. Feeling pretty good about ourselves. Next section, again, not insanely difficult. Stay up top. If you fall, be sure to kill the banana dudes down at the bottom, though. Just because they're annoying as sin. And I highly recommend that you have the nunchucks by now. Follow our hidden secret rooms guide for World 2 Zone 2. If, if you're looking for those. And, and make sure you got a whole bunch of bobbles. 
you're doing tribulation mode, bobbles are really a non-issue. <laughs> Farm World 1. Those uh, tribulation modes should be easy by now. Oh, I fell. Alright, so if you do fall, kill banana dudes. And then we're going to climb back up. Or if you want to, to save yourself some time, you can die. It just depends on your opinion of um, if you're doing this without the coin. <laughs> Funnily enough, this is one that can be done without the coin. And if you get lucky, you might get a banana thing. So anyway, I'm going to show you where to... Um, you might get a key. I'm going to show you the climb. Just around here. Again, these jumps should be easy by now. <laughs> good, good, good. Okay, so we're going to take another gander at this jump. Oh, get up onto the lip. We're going across. Bam, good. Now this one's really easy. Just drop down, it'll catch you. And now for the one time only jump where you make this shot, because you got to jump outwards a little bit and back in. It's not that difficult of a jump, but if you miss it, you got to make the whole run again. Up we go. Jump into the slanty section. And another tricky one. Oh, made it. Good. Incredibly difficult jumps coming up here. Um, you really do not want to miss these ones. I'm going to make a cut once we get to the checkpoint. If we get to the checkpoint. I want to jump to here, and then we're going to jump to the square here. If you don't do that quickly, you can slide off. Don't want to slide off. Time your jump, wait for the wind to go. Right at the end of it, we're going across. Oh, oh no! Oh, man. <laughs> that really sucks. The second wind blew me. Anyway, we're going to make one more run at it. I will make a cut if I fail again. Don't need to see all this repetition as much as we like repetition to get better at things. <laughs> oh my goodness. And this has to be my favorite music. It reminds me of Mega Man. Mega Man levels have great music, especially some of the bosses. It's one of the reasons I loved uh, the Virtual Console on the Wii U. Well, and the Wii. Anyway, yes, so we're going to make a cut here because these next jumps are relatively difficult and I'm gonna show you something about dying and taking advantage of that invulnerability which we'll be doing multiple times within this uh... 5, 4, 3, 2, 1 Okay, welcome back everyone and yeah, we got a tribulation cloud, whole bunch of spikes and blowing wind. This one has a little bit of luck on its side, we're gonna die on purpose here and this is because we need to take advantage of the invulnerability just to get across this first section. See how the wind didn't do crap to me? That's what we're aiming for. Now, as soon as this goes, oh, get across. Take advantage of that dude. I'm going to die on purpose here just because it's way easier to blow up these barrels. Again, we'll have the invulnerability. Work our way across. This cloud dude is not your friend. If you need to use your potions here, feel free to do so. I'm going to take advantage of my potions. I highly recommend that you have the upgrade for the potions by now. Oh man, that last barrel just wanted me. Take another attempt at this. I will get across this. I wanted to make sure that you guys could see all the crap that was within here. Uh, uh, good, okay. Now for the hard part. Oh, Jesus. You're going to be shot at, and that wind is going to blow, and you have to make sure that you get on right on the edge of it Otherwise, you're not going to have enough time to make it across. This cloud, dude. Uh, you have to... When he does his ring animation, it's nice because it take, he takes a while to do it. Okay, so i got to wait for this sucker to blow again. Hopefully he doesn't blast me. And he's blasted me. Oh, come on. Make it... Oh, crap, I missed. <laughs> Oh my god. That jackass. Okay, so we got our invulnerability. Fall deaths do not give you invulnerability, so you're going to have to die again if you don't take the damage. Go, 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 go. If he leaves you alone for some reason, he's bugged out on me. Take advantage of it. <laughs> you need everything you can get. Phew. 
Come on, make the jump. Oh, he's angry. Phew. All right, now, don't go further ahead. You can't come back. Climb this first. And let's get that torch on, just to make this a little easier to see. I'll do my best to get the torch up every time. I sometimes might forget. Oh, climbing. Oh, man. <laughs> this is one of those jumps where you're, like, so excited because you got past one of the hard parts. That your relaxed muscles just can't make it. There we go. This looks pretty dark. You can make it up onto a little lip here. And as you can see, another jump there. Now you did a hard part, so be sure to be patient here. Patience is key. Wait till that stuff's closing up. Make your climb upwards. Count it out if you have to, just so you know how much time you need to go. And now, nice and easy, we take the warp pad. No surprises. Oh, be careful, it is icy here. Don't charge to that, you might slide off. Ta-da, we got a checkpoint. Nicely done. This next part, relatively easy. This is just like normal path, you're gonna have to make the climb. If you took the infantile mode, you did. You skipped this entire area. I, I recommend you practice this in infantile mode, just so that way you can find all the jumps and and not get punished by the spikes. Even so, these spikes really aren't that bad. There's only um, one or two jumps that make you go over them that you could potentially fail. Other than that, there's a whole bunch of safety spots as you work your way up. Oh. Working our way up. And, I mean, the beginning made you do a whole bunch of these too, so we're relatively skilled at these. Bump, 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 bump. If you hear this music, that means there's a secret room somewhere nearby. Now, our guide will actually have all of those available. Here, I'm just trying to get to the end. And if you follow our guide, and I found within most of Tribulation mode, there is no real surprises when it comes to getting to the secret rooms for the shops for a tough customer. There are a couple um, nasty ones, for example, trying to get to Moto's. Um, um, super Elite Weapon in World 1, Zone 3. That one's a little nasty, just because you got to take the whole bouncing group, and they've put a cloud there and whatnot. If I find the time and the patience, I'll, I'll upload a video of that. Oh, crap, I fell a little bit. Uh, i got to go down further. Over here. Don't mind the camera angles. All these jumps are fairly obvious. Ooh, ah. There is only one way up. And it's a long way. There we go. The great thing about this this level is because there's so many tricky little spots like this, they couldn't really put very many spikes and crap to take you down. There's already enough difficult things. And you'll notice spikes that were there in, in normal mode are now incredibly difficult because they're on ice and they insta-kill. That part's gonna suck. And I'll definitely be making a cut for it. <laughs> Oops. Whoops. There we go. Down up here. Made it to the top. Quickly get past the cloud, get the checkpoint. That's all we care about. You're gonna be coming to this checkpoint quite a lot. I'm gonna push this block around. I don't want to make a cut. Don't make me do it. Come on, you bastard. Same problem that we had with the ninjas. Pushing these blocks means you gotta stand still. Standing still with this dude means you're gonna get killed. <laughs> Just pay pay the life. Pay the man your life. Ugh. Get that block done. You got your checkpoint. You're feeling pretty good now. Oh, Moto. I am sick of seeing you, man. I hope he's like everything. He's like save the maiden and it's moto. Kill the final boss and it's like an evil moto. <laughs> I hope they have like one of those levels where you have like a shadow link. Only in this case it's like shadow yourself. I don't know how they'll do that. Maybe they'll like make you force you into a skin for that level. Anyway, here two relatively simple jumps. There are spikes in the bottom, so be sure to follow that route exactly. And we're going to make another jump over here. 
every time you fail here, your blocks will be permanently within whatever place you have put them. So failure here does not mean you've lost all progress. We're going to try and get this in the one go. Stand here first. After the wind goes, we're going to try and get up quickly. There we go. Be sure you're on that little corner closest to the, the wind dude. Because I find that's the only spot that really works with the teleporter. The other ones you can wait around, it's fine. And as you notice, I picked the balloon. I'm doing this on purpose just to show how useless this one is. You got a torch. Which means you gotta put the balloon away. Which means there was no point in having it out in the first place. Now you can go around this loop again so that you can get uh, a checkpoint that is slightly further ahead. Don't waste your time. Really, it's not worth it. Unless you hate the tribulation cloud so much so that you have to get it. I find it's not that big of a deal, even if you do mess up to, to run past the cloud a couple times. And by a couple times, it might be 30 times. It just might be that hard, but we shall see. Oh. <laughs> Let's get some light. Down we go. Teleporter. No surprises here. There it is, Tribulation Cloud. So you can go all around that loop again. Or just every time you, you fail, you take this warp. Because the cloud's up here. It's a pretty useless cloud. If it was further up ahead, then yeah, I'd say cool. We're going to kill the banana dudes here. It takes a little extra time. It's not necessary. You may be able to do these jumps without it. I say as the extra precaution. Oh! And there we go, demonstrating spikes with insta-kill. I went way ahead of the raccoon thing, so <laughs> I won't be showing that. Um, definitely in another video, I will show it, because tribulation mode, you have to defeat all the raccoon stumps. You don't even have to kill the raccoon, just the stumps. But unfortunately, the raccoons are pretty well guarding their stumps, so you're probably going to have to kill them. That was a lot of words for a simple sentence. Can you tell I'm getting excited, guys? We're getting close to the end here. And by close to the end, I mean halfway. <laughs> oh, crap, I fell. Let's see if I can make it up there without having to go all the way through the jumps again. Nope. Come on. No, no. Come on. You can make that. That looks totally makeable. There we go. Good. There's a little bit of recovery leeway. <laughs> if you're impatient and you don't want to do that, just die. <laughs> Going across. I'm going to ignore this bear just because he's a pain in the butt to kill. Time out those jumps. It's some slidey bits, but with the momentum, it actually isn't particularly difficult. Ah! I'm going to get punished for not killing that bear now, aren't I? Oh. If you do this with a friend, remember that you can do the whip and sh sh pea shooter or um, attack combo makes the bears a lot easier and speaking of that now that we've worked ourselves across I'm gonna make another cut because this next section is also really difficult in terms of jump terms we're really close to the next checkpoint but unless you make it you have to redo that all that other section so I'll see you guys after the jump movie magic we're back here we go spikes down this middle section here we gotta walk around the long way you can slide yourself in the corner here and be fine but of course that's a little bit risky we don't want to take any risks. We're going over here. And there's two ways to do this. You can jump around like this and sometimes land on that platform, or you can wait until he buzzes himself. Work your way up the side. Good. And now I'm going to wait till he disappears. Oh, he's going to spike again. No! I got to heal. I'm going to make use of it. Remember, if you die here, you got to do all those spiky jumps back there again. Up. Oh. Oh, oh, oh man, I was so close. This is very difficult, very tricky, but once you get past it, you're going to feel pretty good because you're at a checkpoint again. And then you're going to feel terrible because the next part's really hard. <laughs> oh, that polar bear wants my head. Quickly, get on the stump and then jump high to the top of this bridge because we're going to go on, on over another cloud. There's a cloud in the center here. All he can really do is buzz you a little bit. Oops. And then once he expands his buzz, you're fine. Push all the buttons. 
Bam. Checkpoints. Feeling really good. Now is this the pull your hair out part? Not quite yet. We're getting there. This is actually really short and easy. The next checkpoint's really close by. <laughs> Bomb it! Let's see if I can get all of them just like this. Yeah. Come around this way, make your jump from here because there is a cloud that blocks you at the other spot. Ugh. There's two clouds here. Not to worry. You might get buzzed once. If you're good with your timing on the evade, you can evade it. And I'm going to explain this next section. I'm going to kill these banana dudes and then we're, there's going to be another cut because this is the most frustrating part. All of this is one hit kill. All of it. There. I'm going to kill this banana dude. This is the make or break. You get past this part. You've earned it. You're, you're going to be able to make past everything else. Oh my god. This is how it was in the old days too with pea shooters. Oh, because there's a cloud there. There we go. Got him. Ha! <laughs> we took each other out. Like true gladiators. I'm going to show you the other one. And this is what I'm talking about. All these spiky things. There actually is a way in the very beginning here to avoid it. We're going to take some advantage of some invulnerability again. I'm going to purposely get hurt here. So that I can slide through these spikes. Good. Oh! And then if you like even a little bit, you're going to have the sliding animation before you make your jump. Very difficult. I'm going to show you a couple more times just because I want to get that other banana dude. And then I'll make a cut. To a There we go. That's what we're looking for. Wait for the wind. Come on, wind. Quickly, balloon. Quickly back. Yes! Alright, that actually only took me a couple tries. I've gotten really good at it. <laughs> As you saw, I took advantage of the invulnerability to zap myself through. It's a little bit risky. It will take a couple tries. Nothing for it. You're going to get it eventually. Don't bother healing. You might die here. <laughs> you got to save those potions for the final boss. Now, this section's kind of cool. I like the idea. I think this is a reference to Qbert. <laughs> Just because you have all these little enemies bouncing around. I'm going to light everything up and I'm going to show you which ones not to keep lit. All along the bottom here, you can light them. There's no interruption from those dudes. What we're going to be doing is we're going to be working with one of them because they happen so quickly. You have to work alongside one of these dudes. So we're going to keep those two blank. And we're going to keep his other jump blank. Light these up. Now, the annoying part is that two of them go over the same spot, which keeps flipping that switch. You kind of just have to chase and follow that dude. There we go. Anyway, the one that I'm following is the one that slides along the side here, comes down here, hits this one, this one, skips this one, hits this one, skips again, hits this one. While the other one hits this one, skips this one, goes to the top, comes down here, I think it hits this one, and this is the one that they overlap on. Sorry, sorry, this is the one that they overlap on. <laughs> Uh, so you have to follow one of their routes to correct it while the other one sets it up for you. So you keep those ones dark. Takes a couple tries, takes a bit of time, not particularly hard. And then there's your checkpoint. Easy. Kill this dude. Another useless cloud. <laughs> We're going to get to the next checkpoint way more easily than it is to get this cloud. Be sure you jump just to the left of that um, arrow. It'll land you on this platform at the bottom here. If you jump even further to the left, you can get to this higher one. Whatever, whatever's your choice. Whatever's your cup of tea. I'm going to do my best to skip all the bears here. If you run quickly enough, you'll be fine. I'm even going to use a heal just because I can. 
I mean, I'm going to Zerg it anyway for the final boss. Get over here, skip the bear. Up. Get up. Phew. There's another bear. Get tossed around a bit. Nobody cares. Now that bear, he's persistent. He'll follow you all the goddamn way up. Ugh. After this jump, make sure you're headed towards the left here. The wind blows pretty hard, and you can control it better if you're on the side. Plus, you can recover better. Easier to adapt. Up. Make a straight path. Go straight for the end here. I got lucky with the timing. I got lucky with the timing. Yes. <laughs> Otherwise, you gotta like hover around at that edge there before you go all the way through. Bam. Checkpoint. Break some more barrels. Um, you can't kill these dudes. This next part, you could probably do a one shot though, so I'm gonna ignore it. We've gotten really good at our jumps by now. <laughs> I I really don't know what Adet's gonna throw at us next, but I'm actually looking forward to it now because I mean they've given us so much hard stuff. All they can really do is put cool new mechanics in, and we just figure out how to manage them. Uh, that last platform is a bit of a tricky one. It may disappear on you a couple times. That might be what you have to repeat for, but it's not particularly difficult. We're going to have to move quickly in this next section because there's a whole bunch of those mountain goats jumping down the hill. Be sure to time it so that you move on the platforms after he slams here. Same thing again. We're going to wait at the top here, wait till he slams on that platform. Bam. Trippy camera angles. Burn! It's getting dark again. We're going across. Another checkpoint. I took a bit of a risk there. I should have waited for the dude to slam. And this next section, you only gotta kill one bear. Because I'm not gonna show it because it adds too much time to the video. Normally, you'd go to the left and make some cloud jumps, but tribulation mode, man. We take long ways. We take hard ways. This actually feels really cool. And it's one of those uh, Mega Man feels. Invisible platforms, they're just in the nick of time. Of course, you stay too long, they're going to spike you. Oh, of course I die. Very close to them on the first try. I felt pretty good about myself, and then of course I died. There's a cloud checkpoint after this, so you only got to do it once. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh man, I got buzzed. A little bit of lag. It's a bit finicky. I was really happy I was getting that first try. I got too excited. I've got double tap to roll off for this this path. I use um, the T button. I've, I've switched my hotkey for it. Just because I find it rather difficult on this path. There's too many things that can... Um, or that you don't want to double tap on and ice is just double tap nightmare. Get off the clouds as soon as you can. And jump left. Oh crap, I didn't make that jump. <laughs> you want to... Oh. There we go. Phew! Oh my god, I ate some serious humble pie there, guys. That last jump there just did not want to go through for me. Anyway, yes, there's the checkpoint. That took me about a dozen tries. You're only going to see maybe one or two attempts. Ugh, I mean, I'm just going to blow up on that thing. It won't reset. I'm cool with it. We're going to make sure that we have the the shortcut spike plus the regular spike to get to the next area. If you did this in infantile mode, you probably just took a bunch of rainbows across. Well, we can't do that here. Make sure you have bobbles. You need a good stack of them. Have 50, 60, even 100 when you start this. Again, shouldn't be too hard to get that many if you're doing tribulation mode. Come on. Oh, really? Hit it. There we go. Okay. 
Of all these blocks, there's only one we actually care about, and that's this one over here. All the rest are useful for bobble hunting. But we're not bobble hunting. <laughs> Pushing this. All these spikes here, they're insta-kill. Good, we got the block where we want it. Come over here, hop across. Take the high. Ugh, across. Now we got a banana bastard. And I'm gonna slingshot him, I think. I think you can bomb him too. Whichever one you prefer. Let's have a, a, a really close look at this low res ice. There we go. Got it. We got it. Again, we're blowing up another side of this thing. Ta da! Now, I got really lucky and those worked out just fine. You can blow this one up too. Because usually what happens. Oh, come on. Blow this sucker up. There we go. You have to jump onto that one, jump across. I'm just going to damn show it because I can. This is my video. I do what I want. You jump across here. And we go across here. Kill another banana dude. This is the normal way that you're going to have to get across. I got lucky and one of my bombs glitched and went through and hit. Otherwise you'd be here and you'd smack it one more time for all three sides. That gives you the shortcut to over here. You're going to want the shortcut because this is a timing nightmare. Oh. Okay, so stand right where I'm standing. Do not move a step further. Oh, I unplugged my headset. I need the chip tunes. I need the chip There we go. <laughs> so it's, it's, it's all safe. It's all clear. We're going to start running when he opens his mouth. Boom. Go, 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 go. Jump left into the gap. Ah, oh, I missed my timing. I went a little bit too soon. I got all handsy and excited. Uh, oh, I don't need to take the hard way anymore. Come back this way. This is this is really what I wanted to show. See, I didn't. You don't have to take the hard way anymore. You can just take it along here. This is an icy platform. Be careful. Sometimes the ice doesn't register, and you get lucky, but. Say la vie. Uh, go, 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 go. I think I got the wrong timing. Yep, totally wrong. You gotta get it just as the mouth opens, otherwise you're gonna get blown off like I did. This is the last difficult jump, then we're at the Yeti and then we're done. Because, I mean, the Yeti fight is exactly the same as normal mode. And, of course, I'm gonna demonstrate it to you guys. You can stick around, you don't have to. You've seen all the jumps, you've seen all the tricky parts. You're gonna get that Zed coin, I can feel it. The final boss, we're going to Zerg him, which means we just die a whole bunch. Make sure you got 5 to 10 lives, because that's how many it's going to take. Oh my gosh, my timing is horrible. Oh, I can just feel my whole body and muscles relaxing, because it's the end of tribulation mode. It's like, please, just make this one more jump, please. One more horrifying jump. Oh, uh, do I have the timing? Do I have the timing? Jump! Oh, no, I don't. Jesus, man. This is nasty. Okay, let's put the torch on just to feel a little bit cooler. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Alright. Just as it starts. Ah! Too soon. Ah! Uh. Go, 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 go! There it is! Good! Yes! And the timing works out just fine. You don't have to think there. Here's the Yeti. Oh, Yeti. Jump up this little section here. No blocks. Should pop up there. Ah! Uh. Come on. Oh man, as soon as you start getting that backwards momentum, it's hard to get up. There we go. Do whatever you want. Whip them, chain them. Um, I like using the slingshot a lot. As I said, it does huge amounts of damage relatively quickly. If you have the nunchucks, you may get lucky and hit those 50s. Up we go. This is really just time consuming, there's nothing hard about them. 
Be sure to save your potions. He's not the problem. Ugh! The next dude's the pain in the ass. This is like the boss wannabe. Oh my goodness, I totally forgot. There's one more spike trap. If you get really excited, you're gonna see it. <laughs> it's a troll spike trap. It's like, good job, you made it to the final boss. Now go and... Oh no, you can't go yet. <laughs> Oh, come on, Yeti. You're almost dead. There we go. Try and get your 20 bottles. Because it's on the warp thing, it's a little tricky. Phew. Alright, so I'm going to go around first, and then I'll show you the, the overly excited player's death. Checkpoints. Bam! <laughs> so you're like, yes, I got my checkpoint. You're going to get zapped. Anyway, final boss. Zerg the shit out of this dude. Oh, I have zero lives. I'm gonna kill myself because he resets his health if you have no extra lives. Die! Boom, ba da da. Moto, this is the last time I will see you on a video. On a video! You have to sing for this kind of thing because you just gotta be in the rhythm. So anyway, the, the additional new thing to this dude is that now he's got these little lightning dudes that chase you down. Take your time. It's going to take a little bit longer to kill him because you got to kill the lightning dudes. They interrupt your attack. You may not get to reflect every single one of his abilities. And whenever his shield's down, if you're close enough, you can nail him. Don't switch to your, your um, ranged weapons just for him. It's too much of a pain in the ass for that. Heal potions, very useful here. Just because it'll it'll save you some of that Zerg time. Bring it on, man. Hopefully I can get this before he... Uh, oh, I got it. Nice. I just took tons and tons of damage with it. Each of those lightning dudes hit for 20, I think. Or 40. I don't know. They hurt a lot. <laughs> the luckier you are with getting him on his crossing paths, the faster this goes. Oh yeah, I got a whole bunch there. And now he goes apeshit crazy. He evades a lot of the attacks, just spam away. I haven't found any easier way. You can't really stun him with the whip. He'll interrupt you before you get it off. Most of your hits are going to be from reflecting his attack. It's just too apeshit crazy. Hope you get interrupted by the lightning dudes, just because the timing actually will work out. Let you get a few more hits off. Ah! These lightning dudes. Not difficult, just annoying. <laughs> They really do just want you to spend tons and tons of baubles on continue coins and the like. Of course, if you come prepared with huge amounts of life, or uh, uh, extra lives, that would work too. Oh, that freaking thing. God damn it. Got in the way of my shot. Stop evading everything. Take some damage, please. Thank you. Oh, he took a 50 there. So there, I, I, I chose not to hit his things because I want to hit the lightning. One more hit. Come on, don't evade everything. Ah. Oh. Once you get him to the final form, again, you can die as much as you want. Even beyond the ten times, he's not going to reset and go back to this wizardy form. Come on. Oh, I didn't know you could stun with the palm. Whew. I might have to try palming him on the next attempt. Oh my goodness, I can't get my timing down. 
There we go. I have to like shoot it super early from the lag. Final form, final form. It's all dark and creepy here. Two parts to this. Stay in the center first, then on the outside, and then get lucky. Hopefully he doesn't bite the platform that you're on. Of course you can jump back to the center, but you're going to take tons and tons of damage. In the center now, instead of just being hanging out and chilling, they got four lightning balls instead of two. They hurt a lot. Keep running around. This is like the ninja rafting part. Oh my goodness. At least the spawn point's closer now. <laughs> You only have to do this twice, no matter what. You'll end up doing crazy amounts of damage on the second round. Ah, he's burning me. Hang out on the platform. Do nothing. Easy, boss. You think you beat me. Hop around a bit. If you can see him coming up, you can uh, stay alive. There he is. I see him on the opposing side. I got lucky. Lands in the middle. The only thing that works here is melee. You cannot um, use the slingshot on him here. Just melee away. Look at that damage. Hundreds. Hundreds of damage. 500. 600. Insane damage. It's the nunchucks working at their finest. The longer you stay on an opponent, the more damage you do. Hopping about. Oh, stay in the center. <laughs> I'm breaking my own rule. Stay in the center, run around, kill more lightning things. Which start off invulnerable, which is a pain in the ass. If you notice, if you don't kill them, more don't spawn. You can just run around in circles all day long. Eventually their time expires. I think they're like seeker missiles almost. Oh, he's gonna lightning center. Come on. Oh, Jesus. Yeah, so lightning balls do 40 damage. They hurt a lot. Quickly. He's going down. He's going to chomp one of these. Let's see what he takes. Alright. I got lucky again. Let's finish him off. Show that boss. Who's really the boss? A couple more hits. Just because the nunchucks with their chain attack makes huge damage. Get your chest. I've already actually gotten it for this daily. Practiced this a couple times before I was going to put it on video. Thank you for watching, guys. Um, check out all our videos. <sighs> Enjoy that yawn. <laughs> yes, uh, be sure to subscribe to us on YouTube and um, Twitter ah, and Facebook. And I got a phone call, so I'm going to go, guys. Take it easy.